Welcome! And follow me, this is Samsung Galaxy A34 and today I will show you how we can hard reset this device and also get rid of a screen lock if you have one set that you just don't know. Now, before we get started, I'm, all, I'm gonna mention that if you do this and you have like a Samsung account signed in on this device or a Google account, this will FRP lock the device. And what that means is once the reset is finished, you'll be forced to verify one of the two things, either the screen lock, and assuming you don't know that one, then that leaves you with Google or Samsung account as a verification method. And assuming you don't know that one either, then the device is kind of unusable. So just wanna mention that before we begin. Now, typically I would be making a video on how you can bypass this, but as of right now, when I'm recording this, uh, the new security patch, I haven't found any way to actually bypass it just yet. Chances are in the future there might be a way, but at the moment I have nothing to show you. So I'm just going to say that the device at the moment, if you don't know either one of those things, will become just locked and unusable. Now, to get started, you will need to have a cable and a computer for this. So gonna number one turn off the device which we will need to do by holding a power key and volume down at the same time just because if you try to turn it off when the device is locked and you don't know your screen lock you'll get this annoying garbage now the reason why it's annoying is because I can press volume down and uh, and power key and this will basically act as a reboot for the device so anyway I'm gonna plug it in. And from here, hold both of those keys. Now, once the phone turns off, you're gonna switch from volume down to volume up. So now, there we go. Now you want to interact with the display just so it won't time out. So once it goes black, that means that this phone turned off and you wanna switch to volume up. Now when you see the Samsung logo, let go of the power key, keep holding volume up. And this will take us to the recovery mode. Now from here we can unplug the cable. It was only needed to get us into this mode right over here. Now from here we will need to use volume keys to navigate through the options in order to select wipe data factory reset and confirm it with power key and select factory data reset. It will start formatting data, then give you data web complete, at which point the reboot system now will be selected by default. So press power key once again, and this will now continue resetting the device in the background. Now, because of it, it might take the device a little bit longer to boot back up. Don't worry, that's completely normal. Once it's finished, we will then be presented with Android setup screen. So I'll be back once that is visible for me. And as you can see, the process is now finished, and you can set up your device however you like. Now if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.